Hey guys, this is Harshita and today I'll be sharing with you guys a chemistry tip from the Belmont Math Science Center. My tip will be about how to find the charge of a transition metal. So I'll show you this with a couple of examples. The first one is this compound which has iron and chloride in it. So if you're trying to name this, it would be iron something chloride, where that something re refers to the charge of the iron. So to find this, I like to draw them out. So the subscripts themselves show how many of each element there are. Since there's nothing for iron, that means there's one iron el element, or one iron atom. And there's three chlorine. We know that chlorine has a charge of minus one. So I'll put one negative charge beside each of them. And since this, it, the overall compound itself doesn't have a overall charge, it means it has a zero charge. So whatever is over here should be balanced out by whatever this iron atom has. So that would be three positives. So that means this compound is iron, oops, iron, three, chloride. So our next example is cadmium and phosphorus. So cadmium is another transition metal. So if we use the same procedure that we used over here, then the subscript says that there's three cadmium atoms. So there's that. There's that. And then there's two phosphorus atoms. And we know phosphorus has a charge of 3 minus. So that would be 3 negative charges over here and 3 more negative charges over here. And again, the overall compound doesn't have a charge. So that means whatever's over here is balanced out with whatever's over here. So if this one has six negative charges, then this one should have six positive charges. And if you divide them up between three cadmiums, that would be two positive charges for each cadmium. So that means this is cadmium two. Okay, so there's that. And I hope this was helpful. If you have more questions, please contact your professor or come visit us at the Math Science Center.